one, one other thing I wanted to mention in terms of things to do for the future. Because I, I found because I found this good cheat sheet about answer to Job from Edinger, then I realized that Edinger did a whole series of these books of le on lectures. So uh, a I found Aeon, which is this one, the Aeon Lectures. Um, and so that's the book that he did immediately before Answer to Job that he wrote. And it's the exploring the self in, in Aeon. And so there's a whole bunch of lectures on that. And then also there's one on Mysterium Conjunctionis, the Mysterium Lectures. And then to... Pardon? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're commentaries that are very helpful. I mean, they're so helpful. And then the reading group on Symbols of Transformation and just on Facebook. It's just a written reading group. I got up to paragraph 61 and I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm sort of stumped because... At that time, I don't think Jung even knew what to say. I mean, when when he was writing it as Psychology of the Unconscious, it was the fundamental book that broke him with Freud, right? And I think he was writing for a professional audience anyway, and so he just assumed that you knew a lot of stuff. And so, you know, he's, he's very hard to follow in that book and, and what he was thinking. And so, um, and I've read that book probably ten times at this point, tried to, because I have it on audio, so I sometimes turn it on audio just to see if I can get anything more out of it. But um, today I was trying to write some comments after paragraph 61 and uh, and what he's doing in the book is he's analyzing a patient that he never met there was this there was this woman named um, her name was Frank Miller I don't know why she was called Frank nobody ever said but it's Miss Frank Miller and Miss Frank Miller um, in the 1880s um, wrote, she was, I think she was sort of trying to analyze herself and trying to put the, the connections together between the things she was thinking. And um, she went on a trip to Europe and, and wrote a lot of poetry. And to me, it was just lovely poetry, really. And I'm saying, you know, why is Jung on about this, right? <laughs> you know, what, what, what's the what's the deal? And and um, now I, you know, going back years later, I sort of understand that what he's saying is that all artistic stuff um, really comes from the unconscious, and you can learn a lot. And in fact. On this book, let me just, I'll read the, the back of the dust cover here. So this is the Aeon Lectures. And on the back of it, it says, um, Jung's Aeon laid the foundation for a whole new department of human knowledge, a scholarly discipline one might call archetypal psychohistory. <laughs> <laughs> Archetypal psychohistory. <laughs> well, we'll have to have more departments after after the last decade. Um, okay, it's based on the application of the insights of depth psychology to the data of cultural history. The historical process can now be seen as the self-manifestation of the archetypes of the collective unconscious as they emerge and develop in time and space through the actions and fantasies of humanity. So, yeah, that kind of sums it up, I guess, that, you know, 
Edinger especially was going back and analyzing humanity. And so in that book, Symbols of Transformation, he was analyzing Frank Miller, but he never met her. He, had, he just had a, a write-up that she did about herself. And uh, so he wrote this whole book, Psychology of the Unconscious, on him. And said, why is he on about Frank Miller? I mean, it sounds, yeah, it sounds perfectly okay poetry to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now I realize that, you know. What was paragraph 61? Well, it was just uh, a commentary after this. Uh, uh, she, she wrote a poem called um, Ode to the Creation or something like that. You, do you remember it somewhat? And, and did you read it though? So, if I remind you, will you remember? Uh, <laughs> no, she, she says, uh, you know, first God made music and therefore he made ears. Right. And then God made light. Right. <laughs> then he made light and then every, every everybody got could see, yeah. Something like that. It was a creation myth. But it was it was poetic and it was a lovely poem really. And so but what I didn't understand was that these Jungian analysts are Anytime you do a painting, or <laughs> or I write a poem, or do a painting, they're psychoanalyzing you, right? Well, I'll bring my painting in the next week. Oh, that's That'll great. be good. <laughs>